Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of this new descale and cleansing, cleansing starter kit. So I was at Walmart yesterday and I saw this brand new kit from Keurig. Now it sells for $5. You get this descaling pouch and two rinse pods. So rinse pods are 80 cents a piece. So that's $1.60 for two rinse pods and then that pouch is $3.40. So let's take a look and see what's on the inside. So there's not much on the inside. You've got two rinse pods. Those are just your standard rinse pods. And then you've also got this pouch of liquid. So it's liquid in here. Now, they're saying this descaling solution pouch, pouch should be used every month. Now it's not very much liquid and you're supposed to add three cups of water to the reservoir. I'm going to show you how to use this, but, and then they still recommend you using, so this is the descaling solution that you're supposed to use every three months. And you can see this is 14 fluid ounces. You know, this is very, very small quantity. Doesn't even see, yeah, two fluid ounces. So I'm not sure what they're, what their thought process is behind this. So this is $6 at Walmart. It's a little bit more off of Amazon, I think because of shipping, but um, $6 at, Amazon, or at Walmart for this big, this you feel like you're doing something with 14 fluid ounces, but with this, I'm not so sure. Again, it's only, it's only $5. So if you don't use, you know, rinsing pods are a nice thing. Um, I do recommend using rinse pods. So you do get two of them and this now they also sell so they sell this three month brewer kit and it's fourteen dollars and you get this descaling solution you get um four rinse pods which are 80 cents a piece and you get two of these carbon water filters so if you have uh, carbon water filters this is actually a pretty good kit to get you don't save any money I've done the math. I've done another video on this. Um, they pretty much just added up what everything costs and put a $13.97 price tag on it. But it's a nice kit. So, but again, you can buy this separately. And this is going to be in direct comparison to this. So the ingredients, this is citric acid and quant quantitary ammonium compounds. And this is citric acid and acid, I can't pronounce it. So they are a little different, I guess. This one's got very basic instructions on it. I am going to show you how to use it. You're pretty much going to run it through the machine till the add water light comes on. And then you're going to let it soak for 30 minutes and then you're going to rinse it. But one thing you got to keep in mind, so Keurig has started to... They have a descale mode on some of their machines. So this is the K Supreme. This is the K Cafe. This is the K Express, the brand new one. And this is their K Classic. So the K Classic does not have a descale mode. Like you don't put the machine in a certain mode to get the descale light to go out. Now this one, this brand new one, it's got a descale mode. You have to put the machine in in order to get the light to go out. The K Cafe does not have the descale mode. The K Supreme does now this one looks a lot like the k slim the k slim also has a mode you have to put it in and i've got detailed videos on all of these how to how to if they have a mode to put them in how to put it in that descale mode so i'm assuming you're going to want to do that with 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 this pouch each time you you use it i normally descale every three to six months with the Keurig solution, so I'm not sure what the I'm not sure what the idea of doing this every month is. So I'm going to demonstrate it on this K Cafe. You could do the exact same thing for the K or the K Classic and several other machines. So I've got the water reservoir emptied and I've got the carbon water filter out. Your water filter would probably look like something like this. That's a long handle. They have a short handle also. Okay, so it says we have to cut it open. I generally don't like dealing with pouches. Let's 
Okay, so that is not much liquid at all. I mean, yeah, hardly any liquid at all. So now we got to put three cups of water in there. So here I've got my measuring cup. There's two cups. Here's the third cup. So again, not much water. It is kind of sudsy a little bit. Not too bad though. Keurig does make good descale solution. I do like their descale solution. So I've got the machine on. So it says to use the largest size that you have on your machine. So we're going to open it up. Yeah, make sure there's no K-cup in here. Press the coffee button, 12 ounce and brew. Okay, so there's the first 12 ounce. So the add water light is not on yet. So we gotta do another one. The nice thing about Keurig descaling solution, it doesn't have an odor and it doesn't suds up real bad. It doesn't bubble a lot. So the add water light should come on after this brew because we're down pretty far in the reservoir. Okay. So the add water light. Well, I'm not sure, but for some reason my add water light's not coming on. Huh, normally that works. But anyway, I'm down really low. I'm not gonna run another brew. So I'm gonna let this soak for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I'm gonna rinse this out with soap and water and fill it up with fresh water. Okay, so I've let this, the machine soak. What that does is so that descaling agent is inside that heating element, cleaning it. Now it's time to rinse it. So I washed this out with soap and water. It's filled with fresh water. Now I'm gonna do a bunch of 12, your largest setting. Just rinses, no cake up in. Again, you could do the same thing on a K Classic. Just pick your largest setting. Make sure there's no cake up in there and run a bunch of water through there. I'm gonna run that entire reservoir through. And that should be enough to, to, to uh, rinse it out. It will be a little sudsy for the first two or three brews. And then if you want, you can run a whole nother water reservoir through there just to make sure all of the descaling agent is out of there. So it also comes with a rinsing pod. And there's a powder inside here. So I'm going to show you how to use the rinsing pod also. You just put it in there like a normal cake up. You do have to have the, the needle basket has to be in. And then when you put it in, it's gonna puncture it. Now you can, this is the K Supreme, but you can use it in any Keurig, even the K Classic, just put it in. And you're gonna select the eight ounce setting. So like on a K Classic, it would be the middle button. But on this one, we've got an eight ounce and a brew. So it does have a pretty nice foaming action to it. This is mainly for getting the oils off that lower needle basket. And it doesn't smell or anything. And again, you just can throw this away or recycle it. There's nothing inside there. There was a powder in there and it's all gone now. But this is mainly for cleaning the oils 
which is and cleaning that lower needle it does do a little bit with the top needles but it's mainly for the oils that get around in there now after you've run this you're supposed to do two uh, rinsing brews so I'm gonna pick the 10 ounce you can pick the 8 ounce or a 12 ounce just run some hot water through there with no cake up in there and that's gonna rinse if there was any of the rinsing pod left over in there it's gonna rinse it out so again I'm just gonna do two rinsing pods or two rinses without the pod in there and then that machines ready to go they recommend doing the rinsing pod about once a week I finished with my fresh water rinses over here so now this Keurig is ready to be used so in the end I'm a little on the fence on this I'm not sure if I need to descale it every month or if I can just wait and do you know six dollars for this which is a lot more liquid which I think would do a lot better job of descaling and do it less often so as it stands right now I'll probably just continue to use this but I did see this at Walmart and it said new and I I just wanted to try it out and kind of give people an idea at least of what you're getting in the box kind of what they recommend but I do have descaling procedures on all Keurigs that Keurig currently makes so again Keurig has started to do descaling modes where you got to put the machine in an actual mode but some of the older ones um, you don't need a descale mode you just run the solution through it and then do some rinses Thanks everybody for watching. I recently joined Amazon affiliate program. If you see a link in my description to an Amazon product, if you could click on it, it does help defer some of the costs that I encounter when I uh, purchase things off of Amazon to review them. So thanks everybody for your support. And if you could, please like and subscribe.